everybody, Trapper Forever here. We're uh, just going to go out on the uh, set some baits, and I've uh, got a few Martin boxes I uh, want to put out uh, on a stretch of uh, bush there I don't really have much on, so I don't know how much uh, Martin trapping or Fisher trapping I'm going to do this year. I think I'm going to just take it easy this year uh, compared to last year's sets, but um, I will probably plan to um, set up some martin traps where I have some coyote baits and uh, if I'm going to go check some snares I might as well check a few boxes and uh, even maybe a few mink boxes I don't usually uh, bother with too much but I like uh, processing mink, I like uh, catching them, I like skinning them, I like uh, flushing them and boarding them, whatever. But Anyway we got the uh, quad loaded here, uh, just brought another I oh, no, 300 pounds of bait, split it up into boxes and pails and stuff, so we're going to uh, distribute that uh, this week. I was hoping to set some coyote snares, but we've got a stretch of warm weather here. I think it's going to be about 15 degrees for, for Monday to Friday here, and then we're going to dip back down a little bit and uh, get some snow and stuff. So, uh, Still busy out uh, black powder hunting. I uh, haven't had any excess or success yet. I've kind of uh, isolated or I've uh, found two bucks that I think are uh, good enough to harvest. If uh, I do happen to have, you know, be fortunate enough to see one of them, I will harvest them. Um, they're uh, showing up on some trail cams on different spots there. So uh, the rut hasn't started. It's uh, just the beginning of November here. And like I said, this week is going to be really warm. So I don't expect a lot of movement this week, but uh, into next week probably we'll see a little bit more movement. Uh, I am seeing uh, some active scrapes and rubs, of course, and uh, there's a lot of the deer population here is quite high right now. So uh, we'll see how they're moving this week. Like I said, with the warm weather, I I highly doubt if they're going to be moving that much. But uh, yeah, either once again, everyone, I uh, just thought I'd uh, show you. Um, have a, a trail cam here and why I uh, chose it. Uh, there's kind of a little trail going down the dip here and the main trail kind of goes to the left around the corner here and as you can see here we have a big scrape and if we go this way there's actually two trails. One, uh, one goes to the left, it's clearly being used and one kind of goes to the right here, so it's being used too. And I've got the camera mounted right here. So um, this uh, particular camera, I took the card out uh, one other time. There wasn't uh, any big significant buck showing up, but uh, there was probably three or four different ones showing up at this location. So there was a small basket, five-pointer probably. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you how I, where I set up uh, camera here and uh, we'll pull the card and uh, continue on. Hey there everyone. We are still out in the bush here today uh, dropping off more bait and just uh, checking checking the trails and stuff coming in. Uh, this is actually I created uh, this new bait this year. It's actually in a location where a guy has a bear bait that hasn't been used this year due to the COVID stuff but uh, I decided uh, since this is on, uh, me and my wife purchased uh, this land actually this spring, so I uh, figured I'd take advantage. If there's bears coming in, I'm sure there's uh, coyotes coming in too. So anyway, I uh, was taking a look around here. Uh, tree stands right there, and there is a lot of trails coming in here. So I've. Uh, Faded this place about three or four times, so hopefully we will uh, connect on something here. It's kind of a uh, Jack Prine spruce uh, mix, kind of thicker bush here. So there's a uh, abandoned field just beyond the bush here, not uh, maybe 200 yards or so. So the coyotes are coming off that and uh, working the bait area here. So. We shall see how it uh, it pans out. Uh, you know, there's still bones left over from last time, and uh, 
we've been digging for the oil and what have you, so hopefully we shall uh, start connecting on something here soon. Yeah, I just, uh, I should have done this earlier. We've had uh, quite a bit of logging in the uh, area and this uh, summer, fall, what have you. It's affecting kind of some of my bait stations. So I decided to uh, put a few fresh ones in and use a few older ones that I haven't used for a year or two. So uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, I'll show you more of the bait stations and the one I ones I put in or whatever. So we shall uh, continue on and get going here. Talk to everyone later. Tune everybody. Uh, Trapper forever here. We're uh, just at a dugout here. My uh, friend said there was a beaver here at his property so I thought I'd come check it out. And when I got here actually I seen him poking his head through the ice here a little bit. I uh, didn't want to take a shot at him so he got into the ice or whatever. So we set a couple sets here. And uh, sun might be in the way here, but I've got one just on a dry run here. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if I can see it. Anyway, just uh, looks like he's been using this one. And across, he's been going up this uh, dirt where the dugout was dug, and I got a trap under the water right here, so... Got one other place to go check today to see if there's any beaver sign and uh, hopefully we can catch another one or two for bait. But uh, hopefully we'll get to check these tomorrow and uh, see if we can find anything. Talk to everybody. Hey there everyone, uh, we're just at another beaver dam here. It's uh, kind of an older beaver dam. Um, there only might be one or two beavers here. Here's the house. And he's got a little kind of a, I call it a garage behind the house, just a tiny little pond which is open. The bigger part of the pond over there is kind of frozen. He's got a few holes where he's coming out. Well, we set three traps here. I don't know if you can see this. There's one in a little channel kind of to the right of that uh, spruce tree. I don't think you'll be able to see it. And uh, also got one here just in the channel. It's coming down off of his garage side and uh, hopefully we connect on them and uh, only brought three traps so <clears throat> I set another one where he's kind of sliding down off of the uh, let's grab my axe here and uh, set this one on uh, kind of a dry run here no water so if the uh, just coming off of here and sliding down, so hopefully we'll pick them up. I should block that off just one on one side a little bit. But I kind of got an interesting uh, story with uh, this particular house. Been trapping beavers here for uh, many a year, but uh, happened so I, uh, I lost a beaver and a trap here one year. Just didn't have a tie down properly, so everybody tie down your stuff good. Uh, trial and error kind of thing. So anyway, came back the following year and uh, lo and behold the beavers had used the trap and what was left of that beaver they had it right on top of the uh, lodge for me so I uh, ended up getting my trap back. So thank you beavers, you don't see that very often. So anyway, uh, it's getting kind of later in the day here so I'm going to uh, get back home change over and go for a little deer sit this evening so that's it we'll uh, probably check these traps tomorrow I set uh, three here two at that uh, old dugout with a little water and then uh, three other traps at another another spot there my friend said there were some beaver fresh beaver signs so anyway we'll uh, check those tomorrow and uh, hopefully we can catch something uh, we'll uh, turn you on tomorrow if we do Take care, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we're uh, back in the bush today. We're going to go check those beaver sets right away, but uh, decided to stop along the way here and dump some bait. Uh, this spot is uh, where I have uh, caught a couple of wolf there last year and quite a few coyotes over the years. Um, I don't know if I said this last year, but 
This particular spot I got a trail running through here and I've got actually four small bait stations in a very close proximity so uh, like I said before that's the reason I like to uh, do that is catch them going between the baits or what have you so I just wanted to show you uh, somebody was asking about me using oil and stuff and uh, for coyotes but I just uh, dumped a pail of bait here but uh, as you can see uh, that's a pretty pretty big holes here from uh, those coyotes and wolves or whatever we're uh, digging to try and get uh, whatever they can out of here so this place is uh, very swampy a lot of willows a lot of tall grass um, I like it's easy to hide the snares uh, what have you so I uh, we're really dump bait at uh, three spots. We got one more to go here, and uh, then we'll go check those beaver traps. But yeah, I just wanted to to show you how uh, deep those holes are. Those uh, it's uh, quite the dirt hole. So anyway, we'll uh, talk to you later. Good morning, everybody. We're uh, out back uh, checking beaver traps today. The ones I set yesterday. I already had checked uh, two places, uh, five traps. I uh, had two uh, close traps and. Uh, no beavers. I'm beginning to wonder how uh, if those beavers are uh, gonna, gonna come this year. But anyway, we're back at this old uh, beaver dam where I was telling you about that uh, trap that uh, I lost and they, it was back on the lodge. But uh, set three traps here and looks like we picked up two. So we'll just take a peek at them. First one here is just uh, on that little uh, <coughs> crossover set and uh, coming off the main dam and he's a big boy. I tell you, he uh, got piled up here and yeah, he's a nice size so of course I brought another trap and the axe but uh, no trap setter so I guess we'll hand bomb it again. There's. Uh, enough uh, stumps here I can uh, probably reach the trap too so we shall get him out of here that's probably a double XL and down below here just in the channel we got another one so just pull him out of the water suit what he looks like I figure there's only one or two beaver here so I'll uh, reset these uh, traps and see what we uh, what we can get so sorry for the foot chair until I pull them up. Ah, pretty pretty decent size too, maybe an XL so now the work starts. I guess I'll uh Reset this trap, reset one more, and that other one, and uh, that'll be it. We'll uh, check them tomorrow, see if we can get some more. So, two more beaver, which is good, needed the bait, and uh, that's it. We'll talk to you later. Good afternoon, everyone. We're uh, out picking up some beaver traps. I said earlier in the week, uh, we got uh, back in the deep freeze here, so everything's kind of frozen up. So, expecting uh, some snow this uh, next day or two. So. Picked up that one that was in the water, no luck there, and here I was expecting to catch a, a beaver, but it looks like we picked up a raccoon. So, uh, I don't know how big he is. Well, he's fair size, got caught a little bit back, but uh, anyway, we shall uh, get him out of here. I'm uh, not really targeting raccoons this year or anything, so, but uh, it's uh, First week in November, so the first should be good, so I'll probably skin them up and uh, that'll be it. So anyway, we'll uh, talk to everybody later. Hey there everyone, uh, Trapper Forever. Uh, we just caught that raccoon uh, at that dugout and uh, there's another little uh, dam. It uh, just has one little opening they were crawling out of that hole and uh, coming down, I guess. I picked one trap up already and uh, looks like we got a double. We got. Uh, one, one over here on the dry and uh, one on the wet. We've got, kind of got uh, 
ice whiskers on them. So I uh, walked in here today. I didn't bring the quad. It's a little colder, so I got a little bit of drag, I guess, to get these guys out of here. So anyway, that's good. Cleaned out a couple of beaver here. I don't know if there's any kits. Uh, not a very big pond here, so I'm thinking it's fairly fresh, freshly established. So we shall uh, pull them up and uh, yank them out. So it's uh, good, I guess. Two less beaver, a little more bait. So that's good. We'll uh, talk to everybody later. Got a little bit of rope, and uh, I'm not going to reset here. It's supposed to uh, snow uh, 10 to 20 centimeters, maybe. So we'll. Uh, We'll leave it for uh, now, and uh, beavers are actually pretty smart. They were leaving this uh, channel open, they weren't damming it just so they'd uh, have a spot to get out of the ice. So they're uh, quite industrious. Anyway, two more beavers, two, uh, I guess, probably extra large. So we'll talk to everyone later. Hey there, everybody. Uh, just on the back trail here, and uh, picked up a couple of coyotes here walking across the field. And uh looked pretty big when I first seen them, but they are coyotes. But uh, the one on, well, anyway, sorry, got it zoomed in pretty heavy. The one on the, where are we now? That one behind looks pretty big. I don't know, he looks like a big old dog. Probably a big male, maybe a female with him. So he's kind of hunched over, shaking his head. Yeah, you better shake your head because you're going to get a necklace there, buddy, so. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. We'll talk to you later.